Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a bit of debunking, a bit of talking about these sort of, I would say, bogus articles that have been going out online, and a lot of people agree that this is a bit ridiculous. But let's go ahead and talk about this, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So. As you know, I talked about, you know, a piece of information the other day that came from We Got This Covered, and as you know, they're not the most reliable source, they can be a bit iffy. And so I said take it with a grain of salt, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but they keep on coming out with these little rumours with no backed up evidence, just saying a source has said this, a source has said that, and they have been wrong multiple times in the past and they said recently Caitlyn Snow is going to actually be maybe leaving the show at the end of the season they don't know but she could stay she could leave it's just very confusing and very just sort of half arsely sort of handed off saying oh yeah look let's create this article or something just to perhaps get some views because there is no like backed up evidence at the fact that you know whether she's going to be leaving or not and so this brings me into today's video so recently they released two articles they released two articles talking about the possible cancellation of Supergirl, Legends and Arrow and so they said this is according to them and their sources that Supergirl potentially could be getting cancelled after next season which has been renewed already that they've already considered and they're already sort of oh look we're gonna do this we're gonna do this last season then we're gonna cancel it like why would you do it straight away but anyway they're saying that according to reports the Superman TV show might may take over it and Supergirl will be inevitably cancelled and then over on Arrow and Legends on another article they say all things good are going to come to an end at some point and a, cl and a source close to them told them that Arrow and Legends will be ending after next season after they finish their runs. And so this is with no evidence at all, it just says according to a source they say potentially it may be cancelled, I'm talking about the three shows. And I'm fairly sure this is bullshit because why on earth? How does it make sense to renew all your DC TV shows and number one have, say, Black Lightning, which has way less viewers, it seems like, than, you know, of some of these shows at points. They obviously peak up and down because they have breaks and so on, but... So, these shows are rather consistent. Yes, Supergirl has gone down in viewers from last season. It has, but it's continually straddling along this sort of 1100 1200 line like recently it dipped up to 1300 not 1000 sorry 1 million 300,000 viewers and then it dipped down again but supergirl this season as you know has been having loads of breaks and so that's definitely affecting it and we had a break this week we're going to be back so that affects it but nevertheless it's been straddling along keeping that sort of line that is very very good for the CW because you know the CW doesn't have shows that are really well viewed the best viewed show on the CW is the flash which does get a lot of viewers it does get a lot of ratings for them and they really like that so none of these articles have come out to do with the flash because we can all presume that the flash is going to continue on for many seasons and the flash again it sort of straddles along the line of Oh, sometimes it gets to 2 million, sometimes it's about 1,800,000 normally, around that sort of mark. And so that's the best the CW has normally. And so Supergirl, at the moment, is around that 1,100,000 mark, seemingly very consistently, if you go check the ratings. And Arrow is, again, still holding that 1 million mark here, it has never dipped below that if you go check it online and so it's really consistent and Legends is the only one that has dipped below 1 million this season recently in the last episode in the mid-season finale it went up um, I believe about 17% to a 1 million rating sort of stream not stream but you know telecast and so that was really good that it bumped up but yeah I can admit Legends isn't getting the best ratings but to presume that 
after they've actually renewed these shows to initially straight away say, oh, we're considering cancelling them even though we renewed them is just ludicrous and I think it's bullshit. And I'm not just saying this, obviously I'm saying it in a way that is, I guess, a bit me as a fan saying it's bullshit. But in terms of ratings, if you compare these shows, even Legends, it gets a lot more viewers than a lot of these shows. If you look at a show that's currently running like Dynasty, that gets really sort of low, sort of middle range, half a million viewership. And then even the 100 gets like about 800,000. It has dipped down to 700,000 at points. And that is sort of like your next level. And the CW DC TV shows are way higher. And even Legends, which has been dipping below 1 million, still holds that line above most of these shows. And so I don't see why in terms of ratings and... We know they want to try and boost these ratings, they've added back Sunday so they can have some more shows every now and again. Why they would actually take away these shows that do the best for them and so it's a bit silly and I don't believe these reports and I don't think you should. I don't think to sort of take it full heartedly like if you see some headlines that say, oh Supergirl cancelled after next season which has already been renewed or Arrow and Legends cancelled as well. It's just silly and it really makes no sense because in terms of ratings, like I said, massive. In terms of fan base, the CW specifically really caters to fan base. They know so many people are committed and they won't do it. It's just the fact and so looking at Black Lightning's ratings, it's dipped up and down between 1 million. I guess it's better than I thought. And it's sort of like around that sort of Legends of Tomorrow type rating. So I don't see that getting cancelled. But it's peculiar why they would even... Or why would you make us think that they would cancel, say, Arrow or Supergirl before they would cancel Dynasty or The 100, perhaps. I know a lot of people do like those shows. I've never watched them, but... They do really not so well for them. They're sort of like their middle range kind of ratings that they get. So I wouldn't actually just take these articles too seriously. I believe maybe maybe there's been a few discussions or whatever about the potential of like when maybe Arrow's going to end because Arrow's been around for so long. But when you look at Supernatural, it sort of gets about that sort of Arrow Supergirl type ratings more towards Supergirl, so a bit bigger. That has been going on for, I believe, 14 seasons on the CW, so I don't see why you would cancel Supergirl, which has a massive fan base, so I don't see why you would cancel Arrow or Legends, because they know people watch it, and they know there's more fans than just the ones that watch on American TV, and I think they really do like that because, you know, when they release it on DVD, loads of people get it. When it's on Netflix and so on, loads of people watch it as well. And so, going over and looking at, say, Riverdale. Riverdale sort of has a tiny bit higher ratings than Supergirl. At Supergirl's point last season, it was about the same as Riverdale, or maybe a bit above Riverdale. But Riverdale, like I said, massive fan base. These CWDC TV shows, massive fan base, they really appreciate it, and even with Riverdale's latest episode, that dips to 900,000, which is a significant 23% drop from the episode before, which had one, th which had one million, sorry, 200,000. So, that is, you know, up there as well with sort of Supergirl, a bit higher maybe, but they always dip, so I wouldn't you know, get in a pickle about these ratings and, you know, oh, Supergirl's gonna be cancelled because of the ratings. It's bullshit. I wouldn't listen. And they say that potentially a Superman TV show is coming. I don't see why you would cancel Supergirl and just go to Superman. I know we love Tyler. I love him. I love the new Lois Lane played by Elizabeth Tullock. But I don't see why they would do that, especially in today's sort of environment taking away Supergirl to put Superman, yeah, it's not very correct. And although I'd love to see a Superman show, I don't think it's happening, and I think Supergirl is here to stay. 
So I wouldn't worry about that, I wouldn't worry about Arrow or Legends, because we have the confirmation of next season, and I don't see why they would, you know, consider, oh, we renewed them, but now let's cancel them just after that. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is sort of like a ranty video, not too much information, just looking over statistics and why logically it makes no sense and so on. So anyway, guys, I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.